All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here, and today we're gonna be going over a simple tutorial on how to play test your maps and you know just also how to publish them uh including fixing and not having to worry about that gameplay not attached or whatever it's called thing whenever you try to publish your maps uh and i do wish i just wish you could actually just click run project and play it in here so you can actually see what you're building very quickly instead of having to do this kind of convoluted way of you know doing it so but the you know whatever that's now hopefully that comes in the future uh but yeah let's go ahead and jump in and get this started so basically you are going to want to come out and if you don't know how to kind of get to this point right here be sure to watch my very beginner video on getting started in battlefield 6's portal uh, but yeah, so once you do this, I highly suggest though, once you come into here and choose whichever map you want to be able to build on, uh, like Firestorm here, you come up to the scene and you save scene as. So that way you will save over a new, like you'll have a new save and you can also call it whatever you want. Like if you click save scene as, you can call it whatever you want and you won't be saving over the default Firestorm here. Uh, so that way the defaults firestorm will always be there now I have already done a save as and I called this one test tutorial I have it loaded up right here, and I just made this little quick tiny little thing uh, In just like five minutes just trying to do something so that way something else shows up right here So if you're looking at this you're just like man, but I really want to look see what it looks like in game uh, so you want you need to be able to test this uh, so what you want to do is you want to export your current level right here so you click export current level it comes up and it says success exported you know successfully exported test tutorial which that's what this is called and if you want to be able to check it out you could click open exports right here and it's right there test tutorial uh right there uh, so yay great thing we got that there uh, our test tutorial one so the next thing that you need to do to be able to check it out uh, is you're going to be having to go over to portal.battlefield.com it's slash bf6 experiences and you'll come up to this page right here of course I'll have the links to everything in the description down below and see if you just try to go import from file right here and you hit test tutorial you click on that and it says this no game mode set this is a lot of errors what people are having and they don't know what to do after this so here let's go ahead and solve that issue form so very first thing that you want to do is create a new experience you can go ahead and click on right here or you can just click on right there either one it's absolutely fine now if you want to make your own custom one you do not go off the verified modes if you go off of the verified modes you'll click on or here i'll show you all that in a second once you actually see uh how to you know set it up so you go off of the default cut uh, portal custom mode you click on that then you can go through all this as much as you want but the main key thing is map rotation uh, you want to take off the default one that's on there of course unless siege of cairo is the map that you've edited you can leave that on there uh, and a lot of these names here are different than what they are in the actual editor now that is because of the fact that in the editor they have a different like empire state is mp aftermath uh, Iberian offensive is MP battery and so on and so forth. Uh, so this is something to, you know, remember this right here is just from the SDK readme file. So if you just load up the, you know, like after you download and unzip the SDK, you load up the readme, scroll down a little bit and you get all the names of all the stuff, you know, in, um, the, editor in the godot editor like multiplayer outskirts is new you know sobek city there so that's just something of course firestorm is firestorm so uh this is something to remember on where you get this type of stuff here but let's go ahead and go back over here since we did it on firestorm we know we drag firestorm over into here and what we're going to do is wanting to change this right here so we want to attach our you know map in our file onto here so here's the test tutorial right here let's go ahead and open that up and boom there we go we got it right there fantastic it's now in here so the next thing that you're going to want to do is go through all the stuff if you want to hit everything you want on there and just make it you know uh, make it incredible make all the awesome stuff let's go ahead and change the name of this though i'm just doing tests to tutorial there we go test tutorial boom got the test tutorial 
and I'm not gonna worry about a description. And let's go ahead and do this like a hammer. We'll choose this picture uh, right here and we'll go to step three right here. And this is as far as you need to go, like necessarily for just testing. You just hit create new and there we go. It's saved. The experience has been saved now. And I would, if you want to submit, if you're if you've already tested and you're done and you want to submit, boom, you can hit submit publishing right there. But we are not wanting to submit. We just want to go ahead and check out what the actual you know map is like here. So um, right here, here's our unfinished experiences is right here. The test tutorial, you know, this is it right here. Now, if you go in game and you hit go down to community, that's where you're going to be going. You go down to community, you scroll down a little bit further, you go into my experience, click on that. And if you notice, nothing has shown up yet. It does take a little bit of time for it to actually show up in game. So that's something to remember uh, whenever you're doing this. It does take a little bit of time to show up in game. So while we're waiting for it to show up, I will show y'all what happens if you go ahead and create a new experience here with a verify mode, let's say conquest here, start editing right there. The map rotation, now if you notice the map rotation, you're not actually able to edit that file there and import your own stuff. So if you do go into the you know pre-made modes and stuff like that, you can't actually put in your own file. Like if you're in the verified modes, you can't put your own file into there. So that's why you always have to do it through the custom mode uh, that is right there. So that's something to remember. And I, I'm going to test and see if this actually works. But every once in a while, anytime I would load something up to test, it wouldn't show up here in game. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go in here and just go in. Whoops, my bad. Wrong deal. Go in and hit modify there. If I hit modify and then just resave it. And a lot of times I just resave it and it would show up now in my game. Let's see if that was just a, a, a coincidence or if it actually works just resaving it again. Let's go my experiences and it does. So there you go, save it twice. It shows up right away so you can test it. You don't have to wait that time uh, to be able to get in there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now remember, if you are if you have an unpub unpublished map, you cannot host anything. It, you know, it says joinable by friends, uh, but mainly you're just testing some stuff. So you got to host locally uh, right here. So that's something it's joinable by friends. You can't just have any random person join unless they are actually in your friends list. Uh, so let's go ahead and click host locally and let's see what the map looks like on here. So of course you got to wait for it to load. I just hope that, you know, they, they change it to where you can at least visualize, like view your map inside the actual editor like what the you know the details and the actual graphics of the certain in the materials and the textures and everything like that looks like in the actual uh thing so that would be nice uh so let's see if that actually works there we go we are here in our map that i just randomly built just real quick just something real easy, real simple. It looks like that I I had too high off the ground right there. So this is what I just literally threw in just real quick just to be able to try out. And so there you go. Now you can actually see you're like, then that's the good thing about it. You could come in here and be like, ooh, I need to lower that right there. Or look at these rocks right here. They're floating. I need to make sure to lower that next time. Uh, so you come in here and you do some stuff. And you know, same thing. You're just going to go there. And you're going to, of course, go back into your editor and you're like, okay, so see like this rock right here need to be lowered down more into the ground. Um, ooh, going a little too fast. Let's slow ourselves down right here. Uh, and then this one, of course, needs to lower it into the ground right there as well. Now, it will not change automatically. Like it's not like it'll, you know, go on here. You're going to have to go over into your editor and you're going to have to, of course, export it again like save it and everything and you just redo that uh but then that's how you test you just go through the same steps and that's how you test right there you can just of course hit save you know save scene because this is the of course the test tutorial scene and then you come in here and let's go ahead and leave uh leave this right here uh so let's go ahead and go back into this uh, maybe you have to export current level since i saved that let me go ahead and export the current level right here and success and does it have two of them now or no it just has one of them 
So, oh, I, that's probably the issue. I didn't export the current level after fixing the issues. So yeah, that's that's definitely probably the, the problem there. Uh, so now we can go ahead and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, click on this, and I'm just gonna go reload it just in case there. And I'm going to hit save on here. There we go, let's hit save. And you know what, let's hit save again as a precaution. And now let's see, cause I didn't actually reload uh, like, I mean, export, re-export this stuff. So that was my bad on there. Uh, and so let's see if that now has fixed it since I re-exported. Now, if this doesn't work, then what you may have to do is delete your portal thing and make a totally new one, uh, like in the website, you know, like delete the current one that was there, make a totally new one. I don't, let's see if this works. That may not have to happen. And let's go ahead and see if this works. Sorry that I didn't do this beforehand. I didn't even think about it until, you know, I was right here. I was like, oh, there's issues. I need to make some changes and stuff. There we go. It is. It's fixed. It's done. Look at that right there. It's fixed and done. So just all you have to do is just re-export uh, your stuff from here. So just all you have to do is just make sure whenever you make fixes, like if you notice some of the plants were off of the ground right here. So if I lower those into the ground, lower these, these are the bushes, you know, lower them into the ground a little bit more. Make sure you click export current level, export current level, and there we go, it's success, it's done. And so then of course, then you can, you know, come in here and resave it. Of course, exit out of your game before you do that, but in resave it and you're good to go. Now, if you're publishing, you know, you want to go through all the steps of everything on here, add a description, add anything you want, and of course, submit publishing. Now, remember, publishing does take a little while. If you notice, whenever you publish, it will say pending. You know, it could take a, you know, this could take a few hours. Then it's in review. Uh, and this content is locked. It cannot be edited. And action edited means that there is a flag, like there's, it's flagged by moderation and some changes needs to be made and resubmit. And then eventually the content is published and other people can play it. That's whenever you get your experience code and everything like that. And you're able to actually, you know, to send out that code to everyone. So I really hope that this tutorial covered everything that y'all need. Now I will be coming in here and making a tutorial with just some simple key bindings and stuff like that. How to switch uh, some, you know, like how to switch between this and then, you know, just the simple movement tool. Here's the rotation tool right here. Here's the scaling tool. Now, remember, whenever you scale, you need to scale uniformly. So it's best to come to this transform deal here and scale uniformly. If you don't scale uniformly, it will not let you actually export your level and everything and be able to play it. So you have to always scale uniformly on here. So, and then of course you hit Q and you have all of these right here. And this is just the simple selection uh, item where you can go around selecting different objects and stuff like that to be able to move around and stuff. And so, yeah, that is basically, but I'm going to be make, going over a tutorial where it's strictly just the simple, you know, keyboard commands on just kind of getting started and getting everything you need to be done. So, uh, if y'all want to be able to see more of this type of stuff, be sure to subscribe right here. I am coming out with more tutorials all the time, and I got, uh, you know, a couple of them lined up uh, that I actually just need to record and everything. So thank y'all everyone for coming out. If you have any questions or if there's a tutorial that you want me to cover and that I'm capable of covering, I will absolutely do so. So leave a comment down below uh, with some tutorial suggestions. Um, as well as if you have maps, if you have maps that you want me to feature, because I love featuring maps, that is the backbone of this channel, uh, then be sure to go ahead and leave, you know, your code and stuff like that on there, your experience code and the name of the map and a little description or something like that. I also have a Discord server where you can post your maps on there, uh, you know, for me to be able to feature and we could chat about Battlefield and everything or any other UGC content in any other game. Uh, it's a fairly small Discord channel. Uh, I'm trying to grow, so I appreciate it if you all come in and chat in there and stuff. So, again, thank you all, everyone, for coming out. Appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next one.